Oh, can't you see that pretty little bird singing with all his heart and soul? He's got a blood red spot on his wing, and all of the rest of him's black as I was predominantly a landscape painter and well I was doing actually oil pastel drawings rather than paintings and I was working out on location and working plein air and this little junco came I was trying to see to the ocean view this little junco came and landed on a branch in front of me and he kind of turned his shoulder and he kind of looked at me like you know see me and and I'm looking around trying to get to my view and I moved and he followed and he came up on another branch closer to me and he did the same thing I swear he turned his shoulder and gave me a little and that's when I started really painting birds I just stopped the landscape and I started the birds that was like 2000 year 2000 and I've been <laughs> painting them ever since I mean, I spend a lot of time watching birds, many, 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 many hours, just observing them. And they're flying. You know, there's a sense of freedom, and this is the way I want to live. I have realized that they're sort of self-portraits. My mood is always in them. You know, sometimes it's a little bit like this little look across the shoulder, like I'm taking care of myself, don't you worry about it. And sometimes it's like, wow, it's a big freaking big world out there. I wonder what I'm gonna do now, you know? And that's, I realized that, that I, I am painting something inside, comes out of their little forms. <laughs> and I have, um, I have a great picture of me when I'm a kid one day there were um, chimney sweeps that we had a farm and they I guess they'd fallen out of the nest I don't know but somehow they ended up in my hands I don't know if I picked them up or if they landed in my hands but I have this great picture of being a little kid and these birds in each hand and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> I have birds in my hand I went to college at USM and studied art first I studied music and I almost completed a music degree but I I was an organ major and pipe organs, you know. <laughs> I studied organ for years with uh, Douglas Rafter, who was a municipal organist in Portland and got to play on the Kochmar organ. And I mean, it was like a weird, cool thing. And um, my brother got killed in an accident, and my oldest brother. And so I quit school in April, you know, I just left and went to San Francisco to grieve with his girlfriend. And while I was there, I realized the music was, <laughs> classical music organ playing wasn't quite my thing. I was doing it for my mother, trying to make her happy. And she paid for my lessons all these years. So I felt kind of, I had to continue, but it wasn't, it wasn't my thing. But um, I came back from San Francisco and had a conversation with my mother. We went and we took and had a bottle of wine, went to a field, drank the wine and had a real heart to heart. And I said, Mom, I don't like playing the organ. <laughs> I'm so sorry you paid for all these lessons, but it's not my thing. She's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, I want to make art. And when I was in high school, there was no art class. I hadn't had any formal art education at all until uh, I decided to go back to school and study art. And then I, I did two more years in the art department and I loved it. And, but I didn't really, back in the 70s, the education, the 80s, education wasn't quite the same as it is now. There was a lot of, probably pot smoking and, and just free, free love and free art. And, you know, it's whatever you don't, you don't get the classical instruction back then that I really wanted. I wanted to learn how to draw. I wanted, I wanted to do study from the models and 
and do the whole thing. But uh, I didn't get to do that until the last 10 years. I've really focused on that myself. So I've been, I do do a lot of drawings from sculptures and I've tried to get that classical education and the stuff that I missed. Um, I had children pretty soon out of college. I got married and had three little boys. And I was a professional lighting designer and did interior design back then. And I would drop my kids off at daycare until one day I was like, I, I cannot do this anymore. This is just wrong. This isn't, this isn't the life I want. And I'm like, what can I do? I was used to making really nice income and um, it wasn't, it was horrible to leave my children so I started teaching art classes out of the barn of my home in Standish and had a school called Artifact School. And the kids were with me all the time and I continued teaching. Then I went to Hebron and taught. Uh, the kids were with me, <laughs> went to school. and So that's been a consistency along. I think I probably taught more actively than I have actually had time to paint uh, because it's, it helped me balance being a mom. And I was a single mom. My youngest was only 18 months when I got divorced. So I was a single mom raising three kids. And the year 2000, that year that I had the bird encounter was a big year because I made a commitment to, to leave doing the lighting design and interior design and really do the art full time. I got a studio in Bath and uh, dropped, you know, I would go, kids go, go to school, I go to my art studio, I work like crazy all day long, and I really started producing work, and the first series I did was really exciting. We had gone camping at Acadia, or Le Moyne, I guess, um, and we were watching the gliders every night at sunset, and I wanted to share that with them, so we went and talked to the the owner, I didn't know at the time, and I didn't have much money then, and he said, come back tomorrow, I'll take care of you. So I brought my boys, he took two planes up, and two boys in one, and my son and I in the other, and we were up late for 45 minutes, just flying in the air currents through the thermals, going up and down, a masterful pilot, I wish I could remember his name, and it was so incredible. It felt very bird-like. And I did. I took a series of photographs at the time of Acadia at sunset. So you know, looking down that oblique view at the land, at the water and the colors. And I did really big oil pastels. And then serendipitously got invited to do a show uh, that I had 30 days to create 30 pieces. And... I was hungry for it and I worked like a dog and I did it and I sold, I had my best sales that show that I've ever had. I think it was like $17,000 or something in one night like sold out and it was incredible. It's so exciting and so inspirational. Then I got really sick because <laughs> I worked so hard. But I think it was good because my kids saw me you know, I was mentoring them. You can do this. You can be an artist. You could even, even in the harder situations, you can still do it. And I, I'm, I'm pleased now because like my one son is going into ph photography. They've always been able, all of my boys have been able to kind of chart their course and go their way. Um, and I hope that part of that was by my you know, committing to what I loved.